Floating Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Shonen no Abyss, aka Boys Abyss Chapter 160. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little kitty, in this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content whether it be news analysis or live reactions like this one feel free to hit up our cash up and paypal links are in the description box below so well last chapter of shonen no abyss um shiva said that yeah I'm going to do everything I can to make this woman stay, even if it means um, becoming a demon, a.k.a. becoming Yuko and um, trapping uh, uh, Nagi basically the same way that um, Yuko was trapping um, Reiji. Oh, my sweet kitty. Oh, God, why are you so cute? Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Wish. The Japan Weather Association has announced their um, predicted date for Sakura Bloom this year. Kitty, stop being fussy. The flowers are expected to bloom one week later than usual. We can go flower viewing next week. I'm so excited. Oh, he's leaving. All right, I'll see you. Um, take care. Wait, take care. Reiji, tell me. Um, my face oh, looks like, uh, looks just like Dad, doesn't it? Perhaps. I don't remember his face too well. Mom is trying to get by uh, somehow, um, even if she uh, doesn't like that, but since I take after him, I wonder if looking at me um, makes her feel bad. Well, no matter what she thinks, um, I'll have to see her any uh, once anyway. All right, then. I'm going to go see her with my head up. Yay! Sorry, but take care of the place while I'm gone. Aww. Hmm? Uh, Kazu. Hmm? I want you to become happy with your real family. Aww. Just like Kitty. Look at Kitty. He wants to become happy with me. He wants you to be happy, Kitty. He's my family, right? You're my family, right, Kitty? You just want attention. Yeah, you want attention. You're my Kitty Kitty. You're my Kitty Kitty, huh? Huh? Yeah, I know. Alright, Kazu. Get out of this town. You don't need to come back. Oh, that light. I want you to try and get the future you want. See you. <gasps> it's Maurice calling. All right, here we go. Hello. Uh, hey, I'm sorry about earlier. He sounds like he's feeling better than before. Mr. Asmori, are you all right? A bit better right now. I don't know how I'll feel in an hour, though. Nagi's manager reached out to me, too. It seems she wasn't on her on the plane to Tokyo, so um, I had Shinoboka go to my parents. Um, it seems uh, there wasn't anyone there. Is there anywhere else Nagi would go, um, apart from this town? Put down, Kitty. Let's see. She was saying she didn't have a hometown. I see, so Nagi told you. Oh, dude, Asbori is about to die, huh? Yeah. It's getting closer, isn't it? Oh, God. It, it's almost time, huh? Did uh, Nagi die alone? I don't think that's the case. What makes you say that? You see, I had no intention of marrying her at all. After we met a few times, I asked about her family. She said that she lost her parents in an earthquake ten years ago, and um, she and her surviving uncle helped each other uh, get get by after that and I told her that if um I were to marry her under each at the time I said that I need uh, her uncle's per, um, permission a bit jokingly a bit jokingly and when I said that she had um and when I said that um she said she hadn't been able to get in touch with him and didn't even know where he lived anymore she was completely alone in this world I was interested um in this uncle so I looked him up while keeping it a secret from her I found her old agency through her manager and um, had people in the industry help me gather information. After a few weeks, I found out exactly um, who exactly he was. Oh, he was living the married life in Kanagawa, getting on fabulously with his wife and daughter. 
his wife um, was the daughter of a notable person there. So I figured she cut ties with him for the sake of his marriage. I don't blame her. Since she was a child in order to earn money, Nagi has been, I know it went viral on the internet. So you know, I invited her to die, but ended up making a marriage registration. Um, when I told her that uh, we're family now, her expression was like that of a happy child. That was the first and last time she looked like that. That's why she won't die alone. Spring's Coffin, have you read it too, Reiji? I've heard about Lover's Abyss, though. A pair of lovers committed suicide by jumping in the river, right? Yes, the main characters of the book are based on them and also commit suicide. Sounds not so interesting, right? Still, I kind of felt jealous. After all, it's the happiest way to die. I swear they better not die. I swear to God, Rio. We better, this better be foreshadowing the Asmori and Yugo death, though. That death, that better be coming. We've been waiting an eternity for that. But this, no. No, ma'am. Nagi met my mother. Um, she spoke to mom and she said, I'm, oh! go of giving Akira and Azoe back to you so do him the kindness of going with him that's what she told her she told me um that she can't die together with me anymore so where did Nagi float away to Reiji I told her irresponsibly that I want her to live on won't you look for her I want you to I want you to find her and hear her real name I don't regret letting you two meet get out of that town, Reiji. I want the both of you to find the future that you want. I belong to Yuko. I will take her along with me! <gasps> but remember what I've been saying? I've been saying this for a long time. I was not. As Mori said this a long ass time ago. Long ass time ago. He said that, uh, um, that Nagi kind of represented, um, uh, because remember, Yuko was going to be an idol if um, she left with him. I think he said that to uh, said that to Yuko, if I remember correctly. That Nagi um, represented Yuko and what the life that they could have had together. And now, and also that um, Nagi, and remember what he said to uh, Reiji, that Nagi was the going to be the person to set Reiji free? They are going to have the life that Esmori and Yuko could never have. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this. And remember what I said at the beginning of this video, and I said it last week too, that uh, Shibazawa, she the new Yuko. She the dark side of Yuko. Oh my God, I want to read this again here. I have to read this. Let's go, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. I need to go back here, right? Nagi met my mother. She spoke to mom and she said, I'm giving Akira and Nozoe back to you, um, back to you. So do him the kindness of going with him. That's what she told her. She told me that she can't die together with me anymore. So where did Nagi float away to? Reiji, I told her irresponsibly that I want her to live on. Won't you look for her? I want you to find her and hear her real name. So I, hearing that, seeing this right here, I think that's why she chased after Reiji, right? She chased after him because of what, um, as Mori said, not only because of what as Mori said, but, um, you know, telling her to live on. But I think, um, she wanted to tell Reiji her real name. Yeah. I don't regret letting you two meet. Get out of that town, Reiji. I want, I want the both of you to find the future that you want. I belong to Yuko. I will take her along with me. I'm so happy. 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 I thought that Yuko was going to go to him. I did. I thought Yuko was going to go to Izumori. But no, Izumori's going to go to Yuko. You know what? I will take this. I, I actually am kind of, I'm fine with the Esmori going to Yuko. You know why? Because Esmori should have been, Esmori should have been the one to save Yuko in the first place. 
That is why I'm okay with this. But anyways, let's keep, let's finish this up. At the Shibazawa household, thank you for understanding. Even if you sell that house now, it won't fetch you much. You don't need to sell your house to pay for the rent at the new place. But if you won't, um, if you want to sell it so much, I just can't bear to part uh, ways with the house. Not to mention the table tennis classroom. I plan to get back up on my feet one day and get married. At that point, I'll be ready to sell this house. All right, we'll leave um, uh, the house in your hands. Ooh, so Shibasawa. Remember, I said Shibasawa was the new Yuko. Yee. Yeah. So Reiji is facing the final boss, and that is um, the new Yuko. Yeah. Or the dark side of Yuko has moved on. Because when um, Nagi gave um, gave his Mori back to her, I think that purified purified Yuko. If that makes sense. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So we're going to finally get it. We're going to get um, to finally see the two of them go together. I'm so excited for this. So happy for this. And as I said, it because I originally thought it was going to be Yuko going to Izmori. But this makes more sense. It fits with their story. Because as remember, the one thing that is more regretted was not getting Yuko out of that town. Because he would he regretted he regretted it because he was the one that could have saved her. And she was testing him. Again, remember, she was testing him. She was. And now he is doing what he should have done in the first place. And that is getting Yuko you know liberating yuko and dying together and it sucks that they couldn't be together in life that they have to be together in death oh my god i'm gonna cry oh my god i'm so excited i know it's weird that i'm excited for this but god i've been waiting so long to see this oh my god oh my god seriously rio i have high expectations for this death you have no idea i am so excited for this death I have been waiting an eternity for this scene. Please do not let me down. Oh my God, I'm so excited. But I'm very curious. Are you guys excited for this death like I am? I know, I know I've talked to several Shonen No Abyss fans and they said they have been waiting for this. Oh God, is Mori's coming for you, go! Yes! But what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about how everything um, in regards to is Mori and Yuko's story is tying, how it's all tying in together to um, Reiji and Nagi's story. I really love how everything is tying together. How Nagi um, represents, uh, uh, you know, is Mori's second chance. You know, the, how Nagi and uh, Reiji represents uh, um him and you as Mori and Yuko second chance at life. I really do love it. I love it so much. And if you think about it, Nagi saving Reiji is like the reverse. It is. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. And now Reiji is going to be saving his waifu. This will be very interesting to see how it all goes down. I think I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Reiji knows to any that uh, Shibazawa is hiding uh, hiding Nagi there? I think he does. Part of me thinks he does. I think this is going to end with Shibazawa in handcuffs. And you know why? Because remember, she's the new she's the new Yuko. She has Yuko's dark side in there. And that's going to represent him because um, probably one of the biggest regrets for him is not being able to um, getting rid of uh, Yuko while he could in terms of arrest, getting her, you know, arrested and all that and saving, um, saving his family and saving himself and liberating himself and all that shit. I feel like that's going to be the case here. 
I think I think that's gonna be it here. If Shibazawa is going back to jail, she is going back to jail. Reiji gonna snitch on her and this bitch going back to jail. Either because I don't think he's gonna murder her. No. No, 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 no. I think she's going to jail. But I'm very curious what you guys think. I kind of I feel like the other thing I feel like could go down here as well is Reiji enlisting um, the help of Shinawoka to um to get Shibazawa um busted. Because that was another thing um that is more kind of regretted was uh not having not using um or not going to his friends for help. I feel like that might be a possibility as well. But let me know what you guys think. I'm so I'm just Man, I am just so excited to see his boring and you go go. I'm so excited. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you excited for his to um to uh, go with Yuko to the Lover's Abyss? That scene is going to be beautiful. Or it better be beautiful. And something I want to see, not just for, um, for more so for, um, yeah, I really do want to see it for Izmori and, uh, and, and Yuko in all reality. I want to see them, like, I want to see, like, the, uh, the Betafish uh, metaphor. I do. Especially with the cover, having that Betafish on the cover, um, like, kind of representing a soul. I kind of want to see something like that for, um, for Izmori and Yuko. I wouldn't mind seeing that, um, for them. Or seeing, or just in general for a soul, but I kind of would like, if it's for souls in general, fine, but I do kind of want to see it for them, um, because of, um, remember she, um, she gave, uh, Esmori a betta fish, and that betta fish, Shinomoka killed the betta fish, so that's why I'm like, yeah, I feel like a betta fish metaphor for them makes a lot of sense, and then the other thing we have for, um, in terms of metaphor, for um Nagi and Reiji is um is the tanks is him getting out of his um his metaphorical tank and Yuko being gone is gonna help and um and freeing her and I think the key to save her is her name oh that's gonna be amazing oh my god I can't wait to see how this goes this manga is definitely ending I'm, I'm calling it now. It's going to end by chapter 170, and I'm ready for it. And I hope it ends, based on what we're seeing here, it's not going to end with them dying. No, it's going to end with them leaving uh, the town together. I'm so excited that it's going to end with them leaving the town together. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. They're going to survive and leave the town together. Oh, my God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I'm getting what I want. Thank God. Thank you, Rio. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Um, what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Shonen no Abyss content. New ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.